The Swallows of Maple Ridge arrived on March 21st, 2023. After a 12,000 mile flight from Argentina, here they are in Maple Ridge. An amazing journey, much further than San Juan Capistrano for which they are famous. And uh, here they are resting after their long journey on the wire and then they take off when something scares them. So they are, there they are resting and uh, their return trip is almost a distance around the world. So the most it could be is approximately 12,000 miles from Argentina to the furthest point is British Columbia. The Capistrano swallows go approximately 1,300 miles less than that. The migration route from South America to North America uh, is approximately 12,000 miles if you go from the furthest point to the furthest point. And they arrived in San Juan Capistrano usually on March 19th is their annual celebration. But they arrive here on March 21st so it takes them two extra days to go 1,300 extra miles. I have gone down to welcome the swallows on March 21st each of the past four years after I realized that they were migrating and arriving on a certain day. Swallows are swooping. They've returned from South America. Argentina. There's a buffalo head. And two Canada geese. And what is left of the old beaver dam before the flood. And the swallows are swallowing, spooking, turning. And for the first time, the mosquitoes are swarming. So, uh, it's March 28th. So, this is uh, five days after. They've returned to Capistrano and now they are in British Columbia. It's the first day I've seen the swallows. See them up there swooping around, swooping, flying around, swooping. And there's a great blue heron over there. And a, oh, he's got a nest up there. Nice, and I see the other heron in there. Sunny day, first one for a while. And beautiful beaver dam, but looks like it needs some repairs done. I hope the beaver's still alive. And there's the uh, winter version, winter coloration of the buffalo head. And two Canada geese, mated pair for life. And the former mosquitoes buzzing around my head, that's not good. Oh, there's another blue heron, great blue heron, flying in over there. Just landed in, I oh, thought he was going to land in the field. And more Canada geese over there. Here comes the buffalo head. Winter coloration. Behind those reeds. Oh, it was the first uh, nice day of spring. March 28th. There goes Mr. Bufflehead, very easy to see and very pretty. 
wonder where Mrs. Bufflehead is. wonder where the beaver family are. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well the swallows are gone, so I'll stop filming. I don't know where they went, but they were here swooping around when I showed up. Okay, the swallows have returned to Maple Ridge from Argentina and Chile all the way up here. First day I've seen them. And uh, normally they return to Capistrano in Southern California on the 23rd. So it takes them five extra days to get up here. All right. Oh, another great blue heron. Wow, there's a lot of them today. And there's nests over there. There's, I see two nests with several adults in there and I see a great blue heron in the tree up there and then there's the other one going in there there's one flopping around in the net very nice so join me in celebrating the return of the swallows to Maple Ridge on March 21st every year Swallows are swooping, they've returned from South America. Argentina, there's a buffalo head and two Canada geese. And what is left of the old beaver dam before the flood. And the swallows are swallowing, spooking, turning. And for the first time, the mosquitoes are swarming. So, uh, it's March 28th. So, this is uh, five days after. They've returned to Capistrano and now they are in British Columbia. It's the first day I've seen the swallows. I see them up there swooping around, swooping, flying around, swooping. And there's a great blue heron over there. And a, oh, he's got a nest up there. Nice, and I see the other heron in there. Sunny day, first one for a while. And beautiful beaver dam, but looks like it needs some repairs done. I hope the beaver's still alive. And there's the uh, winter version, winter coloration of the buffalo head. And two Canada geese, mated pair for life. And the former mosquitoes buzzing around my head, that's not good. Oh, there's another blue heron, great blue heron, flying in over there. Looks 
just landed in there. I thought he was going to land in the field. Some more Canada geese over there. Here comes the bufflehead. Winter coloration. Behind those reeds. Uh, it was the first uh, nice day of spring, March 28th. There goes Mr. Bufflehead, very easy to see and very pretty. Wonder where Mrs. Bufflehead is. Wonder where the beaver family are. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well the swallows are gone, so I'll stop filming. I don't know where they went, but they were here swooping around when I showed up. Okay, the swallows have returned to Maple Ridge from Argentina and Chile. All the way up here. First day I've seen them. And uh, normally they return to Capistrano in Southern California on the 23rd. So it takes them five extra days to get up here. All right. Oh, there's another great blue heron. Wow, there's a lot of them today. And there's nests over there. There's, I see two nests. With several adults in there, and I see a great blue heron in the tree up there. And then there's the other one going in there. There's one flopping around in the net. Very nice. The swallows resting along the fence after their 8,000 mile journey from South America taking a rest. They don't fly all the time. Now they're resting. swallows very cute very strong flyers there's one swooping down there yep hey guys you're pretty cool oh that one flew right by me very nice anyway they have returned oh look at their mating <laughs> trying to mate. Apparently they mate here and then they mate in South America again. So they build two nests, have two crops of kids every year. Okay, enjoy the swallow. This is not Capistrano, this is Maple Ridge. British Columbia, Canada, and the swallows have returned. And there they are, all the way from Argentina. Okay, this is Dr. Gary Joseph Fordog, and this is another in my series of I Miss the Swallows of San Juan Capistrano. 
by Gary Ordog. Here's Mission San Juan Capistrano. Here's the swallow nest made out of mud built on the side of the old uh, mission. And the swallows travel many, many thousands of miles, six to 9,000 miles between Goya, Argentina, and San Juan Capistrano in California. And they become famous and here is the legend of the Swallows of Capistrano and lots of people visit. There's a day on March 19th, St. Joseph's Day, named after the swallows when they return that day in the millions, or they used to. Now they don't return, there's not that many around, and that's what I miss. Uh, here's a swallow in the nest, here's a swallow flying, and here's the old uh, mission with swallow nests on there. There's the bells that ring on the day of March 19th every year when the swallows return, and here you can see them flying around by the thousands, and there's lots of them flying around. They have a very distinctive shape when they fly, kind of like an F-16 fighter jet, and here, look at here's millions of them uh, coming and returning on March 19th of every year. And they also leave on the same day in September every year. So as the little birds wing their way back to the mission, as the town of San Juan Capistrano welcomes visitors from all over the world to witness the return of the swallows. The story goes, the legend, of the Cliff Swallows of Capistrano. Uh, in a book, Capistrano Knight's father, St. John O'Sullivan, pastor of the Mission San Juan Capistrano uh, from 1910 to 1933, tells the story of how the Swallows came to call the mission home. One day while walking through the town, Father O'Sullivan saw a shopkeeper, broomstick in hand, knocking down the comically shaped mud swallow nests that were under the ease of his shop. The birds were darting back and forth through the air, squealing over the destruction of their homes. What in the world are you doing, Osawa Nass? Why, these dirty birds are a nuisance and I'm getting rid of them, the shopkeeper responded. But where can they go? I don't know and I don't care, he replied, slashing away with his pole. But they're no business here, destroying my property. Father O'Sullivan then said, Come on, Swallows, I'll give you shelter. Come to the mission, there's room enough there for you all. The very next morning, Father O'Sullivan discovered the Swallows busy building their nests outside Father Unipero Serra's church. And that becomes St. Joseph's Day and the return of the Swallows annually on March 19th to the mission San Juan Capistrano and I miss that they do not do this anymore and I'm not able to see this anymore. So the swallows also return to Argentina on the same day or leave for Argentina on October 23rd of every year and this is uh, reported here there's a two swallows getting ready to return this is a world famous event and recognized by many people. I tried to go there every year from 1980 on, uh, but in the 1990s, the uh, returning swallows disappeared basically or went somewhere else. I'm not exactly sure. That is an uh, area of great controversy, but this town is still famous. The mission is still famous. Supposedly, a news report many years ago said they were making a comeback, um, but I'm not sure. I still miss them. I miss uh, the Swallows of San Juan Capistrano. So thank you again for your kind support, and I appreciate it throughout the years, uh, especially from my patients, uh, many of them in California, and uh, with various honors of various types 
and I uh, have written various textbooks. Uh, this is one editing and authorship. Here's another editing and authorship textbook on the management of gunshot wounds. And a uh, 40-year medical re school reunion was in 2018, and that was a three-day fun adventure. Please subscribe to my free channel by pressing on my small caricature at the end of this video. Here uh, is a list of the ET cast, and yours truly is noted. Uh, again, press on my small caricature here for a subscription free to my channel. I was lifeguard uh, 1972. This is a photo of me with the Royal Life Saving Society. Thank you and have a good life.